Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about classical, simple and multiple linear regression model with MCQ, especially for UGC net in economics. First of all, we will see what is classical linear regression model. Under classical linear regression model, dependent variable is a linear function of parameters, independent variable and error term. Under classical linear regression model, dependent variable is a linear function of parameters, independent variable and error term. Linear function means dependent variable will change at constant rate with respect to change in independent variable or parameter. For example, Y is dependent variable which represent total earning of a writer. X is independent variable which represent number of hours which writer work. If writer work for one hour, then his total earning is 75. If he work for two hours, total earning 100. If he work for three hours, total earning 125. Similar, you can see if he work for four hours, total earning 150. If he work for five hours, total earning equal to 175 rupees. Here you can see every time total earning of writer or you can say that every time dependent variable increasing at 25 rupees, 75 to 100, 100 to 125, 125 to 150 means every time dependent variable increase by 25 rupees. So you can say that dependent variable is changing at constant rate with respect to change in independent variable which shows dependent variable is linear function of independent variable. Equation of classical linear regression model. Dependent variable x1, x2, so on xk are independent variable. Beta note shows intercept. Intercept means value of a dependent variable when independent variable is 0. For example, autonomous consumption work as an intercept because autonomous consumption shows value of a consumption when income is a zero. Beta 1, beta 2, so on beta k shows a slope of line. These slope mainly shows a rate at which dependent variable change due to change in independent variable. For example, marginal propensity to consume work as a slow because marginal propensity to consume shows a rate at which consumption change due to change in income. E represent error term. In reality, this is not possible to capture all independent variable which influence a dependent variable. That's why we include error term because error term capture influence of all other independent variable which are not included in model but actually affect dependent variable. Assumptions of classical linear regression model. Linear regression model. That means dependent variable is a linear function of parameters, independent variable and error term. Zero mean value of error term. There are so many errors. Some are positive but some are negative. Zero mean value of error term means on average positive and negative errors will cancel out which prevent biasness of model. E is expected value or you can say the mean of error term. E1 is the error term, X1 is independent variable. This equation shows the mean of error term will always equal to zero. It doesn't matter what is value of independent variable. Independent variable is uncorrelated with error term. That means there is no correlation between independent variable and error term. Dependent variable test score. X independent variable classroom timing. Error term which capture influence of other factors which are not included in this model but influence our dependent variable like luck, ability, talent, habit or mood of a student. No doubt all these factors influence our dependent variable but these factors don't have any correlation with the independent variable which include in this model. So we can say that independent variable is not correlated with the error term. Next assumptions are homoscedasticity. That means variance of error terms are constant for all value of independent variable. Homoscedasticity means variance of error term are constant for all value of independent variable. Just opposite to homoscedasticity is heteroscedasticity where variance of error terms are not constant. Classical linear regression model assume homoscedasticity. 
no autocorrelation that means there should be no relationship between error term of different period or you can say that error term of period 1 should not related to error term of any another period no perfect multicollinearity what do you mean by perfect multicollinearity if two or more independent variable are perfectly and exactly correlated it will be called perfect multicollinearity but classical linear regression model assume there is no perfect multicollinearity now we will see simple linear regression model simple linear regression model and multiple linear regression model are type of a classical linear regression model Simple linear regression model uses only one independent variable to predict one dependent variable. And simple linear regression model help to find best fit state line from data point. For example, you collect data. Student A, 2 hours study, receive 70 score. Student B, with 5 hours of study, receive 85 score. Student C with 8 hours of study receive 95 score. Similar you collect so many data and you plot all this data in graph. On x axis you have independent variable means study hour. On y axis we have dependent variable score. And simple linear regression model help to find out this state line. And this state line is best fit line to all data point. If this best fit line is far away from actual data point, that means variance are uh, more. So, in simple term, you also say that simple linear regression model help to find out value of intercept and slope. Suppose this model find out value of intercept is 50. As we know, intercept shows value of dependent variable when independent variable is 0. That means that 0 study hour student are able to receive 50 score. This 50 will be called intercept. And this model find out value of slope equal to 3. Slope shows the rate at which dependent variable change due to change in independent variable. 3 means every extra hour of study give 3 increase in score. So, we want to predict marks of student who just study for 7 hour. So, in place of x we will put 7. In place of intercept we will put 50. And in place of slope we will put 3. And when we solve, it will become equal to 71. That means based on these prediction, we came to conclusion those students study 7 hours, they able to receive 71 score. Multiple linear regression model. Multiple linear regression model also type of classical linear regression model. Simple linear regression model just uses only one independent variable in order to predict the outcome of dependent variable. But multiple linear regression model uses two or more independent variable in order to predict the outcome of one dependent variable. For example, simple linear regression model just predict marks of student based on study hours. But multiple linear regression model uses health, stress, home environment along with the study hours in order to predict the marks of student. This diagram belongs to simple linear regression model x axis independent variable y axis dependent variable. But this diagram belongs to multiple linear regression model where we have so many best to fit state line. These lines show the relationship between one independent variable and dependent variable. This shows relationship with other independent variable, this with other. In short, multiple linear regression model uses two or more independent variable in order to predict the outcome of one dependent variable. Example of multiple linear regression model. Equation, dependent variable, exam score. First independent variable, study hour. Second independent variable, mock test taken. Uh, this coefficient or you can say that this slope represent this independent variable. And this slope or you can say the coefficient represent this independent variable. And this one is intercept as we know. Suppose our uh, model calculate value of intercept equal to 30 and value of beta 1 equal to 4 and value of beta 2 equal to 2. 
Now, based on this, we will pre predict uh, exam uh, score for student who study eight hours uh, and took uh, five or uh, mock uh, test. That means value of x one eight and value of x two five. Now, we will put the value of x one and x two in this equation and solve this equation. It will become equal to thirty two. That means those uh, student who study eight hours and took uh, five uh, mock test expected to take uh, thirty two marks. Now we will see some questions in simple linear regression model. What does this beta one represent? This one dependent variable, this one independent variable, this one intercept, and this one is slope of a line which shows rate of change in dependent variable with respect to change in independent variable. So the right option is a C slope. Which statement uh, true about homoelasticity? Variance of error term is constant across all level of independent variable. We have already discussed homoelasticity means variance of error term are constant for all value of independent variable. So this is right, and homoelasticity provide accurate and stable prediction because variance of error term are constant. This is also right. This is key assumption of classical linear regression model. We have already discussed under homoelasticity assumption. OLS estimate is considered blue. Uh, best linear unbiased estimator. We have already discussed about OLS estimator. So this uh, also true about homoelasticity. Our right option is C. All of above above statement are true about homoelasticity. Who is father of econometric? Our right option A. Regner uh, Frisch. Darwin Watson test is associated with detecting which problem? No auto correlation is assumption of regression model. If there is auto correlation, then obviously problem. But how to detect uh, auto correlation? Famous test which we use to detect auto correlation is Darwin Watson test. So the right option is C, auto correlation. A regression analysis inappropriate when, or you can say that a regression analysis is not appropriate when you have a two variable. We use two variable. You want to predict one variable based on other. We want to predict one variable based on other. Pattern of data point uh, best fit uh, state line. This is also right. There is heteroelasticity in scattered plot. Assumption of uh, linear regression model is homoelasticity, where variance of error terms are constant. Not heteroelasticity. Heteroelasticity violate assumption of uh, regression model. So this uh, statement make uh, regression analysis inappropriate. So the right option is uh, D. Which statement is true about classical linear regression model? Dependent variable change at constant rate with respect to change in parameter. In classical linear regression model, dependent variable is linear function of parameter, independent variable, or error term. So this uh, statement is uh, right. Assume more than uh, zero mean of error term. Not this model uh, assume zero mean of error term. Not more than zero. So this is uh, false. There is correlation between independent variable and error term. This model assume independent variable is uncorrelated with error term. So this is also wrong. Perfect multicollinearity is key assumption of this model. Absolutely wrong. This model assume there is no perfect multicollinearity. So this is also wrong. Our right option is A. So this is all about today's video. I think you got it, and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.